The 39th variation and all of its various variants give basically a wide array of different approaches to a broken chord across three strings. So there are two parts to it, an A and a B, and the A part is primarily across the bottom three strings and the B part is primarily across the top three strings. Today I'm going to play the first of the variants given, which is basically eight sixteenth notes all on the lower string, same note, followed by four pairs of slurred sixteenths that cross the strings, so and then the next bar again and so on. These should all be played around the middle or just below the middle of the bow. So we really want the motion to be happening primarily in the fingers and wrist and less in the elbow. For the first note of each bar, I suggest practicing very slowly incorporating the silent wiggle before the first note. So. Also one quick word about the left hand for these string crossing passages. Um, rather than having the tension through all the fingers on the different strings at all times, we can rotate that weight a little bit as we play. So we don't have to really keep, for example, the first finger strongly down on the E when we're playing the G with the second finger. So we can just lighten the non-playing fingers and kind of rotate the weight through as needed. So I hope that helps and here is variation 39. <laughs> Thank you. 